Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Okay, first of all, we're going to take a look at some of the cool stuff that's coming out for FS22. Just a real quick glance. I don't feel like making a separate video, so we're putting it in the middle of this series. Hopefully some of you who have not been following this series will, because this is a fun series. But anyway, we're going to take a break. We're here at the brewery. I'm in my Volkswagen, and we will be right back. But let's take a look at what is coming in Farm Sim 22. First off, we have a whole slew of new screenshots. Uh, this is obviously our Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, whatever map, mid Midwest U.S. Um, I like that the car's got actually headlights on, so I don't know. Maybe that's the, one of the cars that we have in the game there. Cool-looking barn. Yeah, this does look like the Midwest. I love that. The, they've really finally gotten rid of the European in the U.S. buildings. I mean, 19 kind of did, too. I would. I was back doing this beginner series that we've been doing on Ravenport, and, you know, the buildings aren't, they do look American. That that part's nice, at least. Um, so we'll go through some of these. It's a cool round, uh, round shed. We do have a lot of those in the U.S. I like the big open fields, dirt roads between, betwixt. Got a nice little river, kind of quiet area here. Not sure, that looks like the animal livestock area. Same kind of picture on the current one. But that looks like a livestock yard. Cool facility, though. That's neat. I wonder if they have, like, a butcher and stuff there. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. There's some vineyards in America. Once again, I was talking about this in one of my other videos. In Ohio, we do have vineyards. So I, I'm sure all over the country they're doing it now. Uh, grapes grow best, I think, in the Mediterranean. But we can still grow them. And we have a picture of the New Holland harvester uh, harvesting those grapes. Lots of cool new stuff. Pictures from inside the harvester. It looks like we still have static screens, though. We'll see. Uh, I like these new uh, Rudolph trailers. Once again, though, we don't in America. Oh, I don't. We don't really use. We have the ones that have the the bellies that unload. Uh, the J and J like grain carts. We don't. We don't have tippers like this, but they don't seem to want to put them in. So I don't know. Maybe they can't get licensing or whatever. However, a lot of farmers are using auger wagons. I've seen that a lot this year. Um, here we go. We have a, the coon feeder. Obviously, the cows here are getting their food. We'll see how they the, those will pan out as far as like being more dynamic. Here's the cool thing. Uh, obviously, a little cultivator for in between the grapes. And we have a Landini tractor that is designed for orchards and vineyards. And you can see it's a real narrow tractor. Uh, olives, maybe. That's still the American map. I don't know that we grow olives in the U.S. ever. That's looking like probably wheat or barley. Probably barley. It's pretty uh, fluffy looking on top for wheat. Fall season, obviously, the trees are looking fallish. It's happening right now outside. Eh, we've seen that. Uh, cool Massey Ferguson tractor with a plow on it. That's really cool. Oh, look at, look at the wheels. They look good. This looks nice. Love the inside of that barn. There, There's America right there. That's the first American-feeling barn I've seen. Maybe I haven't seen much, but it does. So that's last picture. So let's go on over to the card slots and see what tractors we've had so far. They have Each week they release a new uh, info card on tractors that are coming out. So. so here are some of the things that we're finding in the fact sheets. We've got... Um, this really cool uh, Grimmy Rexar 6300 Platinum, probably potato, but could probably actually probably sugar beet. Those look like sugar beets. Um, once again, it could be sugar beets or potatoes. I'm not sure. Potato harvester. Okay. Sugar beet harvester, potato harvester. This is one of those toe behind potato harvesters. That's cool. Another potato harvester, the Venter, <laughs> $600,000. You better really want to be doing potatoes if you're investing in that. Uh, $419,000 for a T9 tractor, right? Is that what that is? T9. Yeah, T9 series. And he's pulling a Kinsey. So that's been in the game for a while. Nothing new there. We have the Browd 9070. That is a grape harvester. Here we have a little Fent 200 Vario orchard tractor. Uh, this is for, um, obviously collecting grapes and probably olives with a little olive trailer. It looks like a grape trailer. Uh, here's an orchard sprayer on the back of this Landini. 
Uh, once again, Landini is also linked to uh, the tractors. Uh, McCormick would be another brand that is based off of Landini. And then also uh, Stara, so the company that we originally were sponsored by that we got to get free copies of the game and get early access and stuff thanks to Stara. Uh, their tractors, now their equipment is made by Stara, but they sub out their tractors and they are Landini tractors. But this is the a orchard version of the tractor. It's got a real long nose, but it's narrow. It's designed to go between the tracks. They also once again use these in orchards, not just in vineyards. So here we have a new Holland vineyard tractor. Uh, this one is a um, tracked thing and it's open. It's one of the first open tractors I've seen on modern ones in Farm Sim. Cobra hybrid wood chipper. I'm so over the lumber part, but whatever, it's cool. And here we have a New Holland pulling behind some other kind of chipper with a arm on it. I can I can never operate those arms. Now that I have my heavy equipment arm operator thing, maybe I will be able to. Uh, but there's a T8 right there, Genesis series. It says, oh, and by the way, this New Holland I believe is propane. Yeah, methane power, methane power, not propane, methane. Methane, as the English say. Uh, another tree harvester, yippee. Another tree harvester, woohoo! <laughs> what is this mulching carrier? Hmm. So does that just mulch stumps, or does it mulch a whole tree? Like if you knock it over, I don't know. And it's got some forestry mulcher on the front, so it obviously can have different attachments. Be cool to see that in action. Fence seven hundred, boring. Uh, here we, <laughs> so I, I, they're in every game. So what's the big deal? But yeah, so there you go. There's a fence. Latest version. That's why. Uh, here we have the Iseki. So that's a new tractor brand to the game. One of these weird off-brand ones. Not sure where they're made. L let's look it up real quick. Hang on a second. Ding, ding, Japanese. Located in Tokyo. So we have our first Japanese tractor. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm not... Uh, that's neat. 95 horsepower, so it's a small on the small. And that most of the Japanese equipment and, and like Mahindra, Kubota, stuff from overseas, Korean... Indian, they seem to be in that size, like that, like 50 to 120 horsepower. Uh, looks like we got a new forklifter from Jung Heinrich. This is really cool. This is one of those like snow machines. I think with winter, we can use this to plow driveways and stuff like that. I don't think you would see this. I've never seen one of these in America. It doesn't mean they don't exist. Probably in Maine, Montana like at a ski resort, you know what I mean? Like you'd have them there. But in general, farmers don't have these on their farms in the U.S. Now, maybe overseas they do, but, and this is at the one megawatt bio, biogas plant. So sure. Ha <laughs> Here's a Deutzfar vintage uh, harvester. That's pretty cool. Top liner do, from Deutzfar. I'm excited about that. Like a small, looks like it's medium size. So what was this, about 10, six meters. So that's, uh, times three. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. 18 feet. That's a pretty big header, actually. So you have an 18-foot header. I, didn't I say 18-foot? That was my guess. Yeah, so 18-foot header on the front of this top liner. And then we've got the Zetter Proxima, which is the mid midsize tractor. We've got the Major, which is the little 80-horsepower tractor. And uh, oh, so I'm sorry, 50 horsepower. Whoa, that's way down from what it used to be. 90 but I think you can upgrade these. This goes up to 120. This goes up to 90. And this will go up to, let's see, 136. But no, I guess not, because this one says 117 to 136, the Forterra. This says 75. Nine. So I'm interested to see, because, you know, Farm Sim in the past has not had a great equipment selection for small tractors. Like, they become impractical really quickly in the game. But to see all these Zetters lined up, and the Landinis, and we've got this little Iseki, Maybe they're going to start giving us equipment that's designed for smaller tractors so that those starter farms will last a little longer. Uh, interesting to see how that works out. Um, and whatever. Fent Forager. This is cool. I know this is probably big for a lot of people. We have a 150 horsepower John Deere vintage tractor. Uh, it's a 7, a 7, 8, 10, 7 series, 8, 10. 78. I don't know, however you say it. Uh, but this is manual plus power shift. This is a cool tractor. Uh, definitely like late 80s, early 90s, I think. Uh, biogas scooper thing. 
the Schaffer, Schaefer, I don't know. Keep moving. Oh, this is cool. I forgot about this. The Versatile is going to be in the game. They only make like one or two tractors, so we have this huge Versatile thing. And there's actually a Roselmash um, cultivator. That's kind of cool. But this is neat. That's going to be fun. That's a big tractor. And we see him here in the United States pretty, not frequently, but I do see him. Uh, class Series tractor. Woohoo. Got those already. Hopefully they'll retain all of them. Uh, that's cool. We have a new telehandler from a different brand. And we also have a mixer from the same company. That looks like a silage bale right there. Uh, and then uh, my daughter Evelyn is texting me. Aw, poor Evelyn. She wants to see me. Uh, <laughs> then we have here the Max Line Plus slurry wagon, whatever. This is cool. This is a rock removal tool. Uh, that's pretty neat. And then we have the Vario, another Fent. This is a 900 series Vario. That's another thing of interest here. Uh, Mack Trucks is going to be in the game. I think I mentioned this in the other video, but I wasn't sure because I think this came out. Maybe this came out right after I announced my video or did my Hey, Woodson Farm Sim video. Uh, and so that's pretty neat. And so I'm excited about that because I love Mac. I mean, obviously, my neighbor was a secretary for Mac, and she was, always had the little bulldogs on the front of her vans. Uh, class Harvester, woohoo. Um, showing us that we have different kinds of options for buying items. We now we have seed bags on pallets. We also have these the what do you call that? Like the bag lift, and of course the saddle track. Uh, so there, this is all the things that have come out. They will continue to come out until Farm Sim comes out. We got another about three or four weeks, so we should see three or four more pieces of equipment. Nothing super exciting, but I'm uh, I'm glad to ha see this coming. Oh, this is cool too. We'll check this out. Um, we have. Hang on, let's see this. Is this going to come up? They got a new icon overview, and I want to see that, but it's not coming up. Hold on one sec. Yeah, let's see it. There we go. <laughs> this is cool. Maybe showing you what it needs and what you got. These are, so we got raisins, butter. Those don't look, I guess they kind of look like raisins. Grape juice. Someone's going to put wine in the game, and we'll have a brewery too, I'm sure. Um, but, yeah, look at all this stuff. Pretty neat. So anyway, all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Let's go ahead and get back to our episode of Class Farm. Uh, I have finished selling the bales, and we are ready to do some planting for the winter. So I'll be right back. So we're back at the brewery. Uh, one of the things that I did notice is that we are running a little low on malts. Uh, our beer... We're making beer right now. We've got a lot of uh, Gerst left, which is, I think, uh, barley. And then, yeah, because Wizen is wheat. So the wheat is not uh, done yet. But we, we need to, um, there's a couple things we need to do. First of all, we need to get grass planted for next year. But we're still in early autumn, so there's not a huge rush there. But I need to cultivate the fields and then get the grass planted. Uh, the other thing we need to do, though, today, I think it would be wise to run over and bring... Some of our, uh, we have malts in production or produced, and I think we need to bring it over to the factory and get that in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Gasolina. I love this. Whoa, car. Make me sick. So we should have, it looks like we have a bunch of malts already made, I think right here I mean this is like the appropriate car for a, the owner of a vineyard to have right <laughs> or of a beer factory uh, we are out of wheat but there's lots of water lots of Lear Palatin tons of malts and pig food <laughs> can we sell the pig food let's see I want to look in the market I don't really want to do pigs but maybe actually if we have the food Is that pig food? What is that? Is that pig food? Whoa. It's kind of valuable. Maybe. 621 at Rifeson. 
I'm just going to see if there's anything else that, rec that looks like pig food. Sucker. I wish this was in English. That's the one thing that's going to be nice about Farm Sim 22 is that we're going to have actually English. So that people like me who can't read German are not totally lost. All right. Maximum. So we got 12 pallets of malt. Let's go ahead and deliver that over to the factory. And then we'll look at moving. I'm going to move some of that. Uh, probably move some of the. Uh, sell some of the pig food. A little freebie extra money. We're up to $400,000. You can see that's pretty healthy. Uh, I'm sold off the bales and stuff um, that we had sitting around. I'm trying to think of where I should park this. Honestly, probably right here. Once again, this little Torian is awesome. It's like just the right size for what we do. I just wish it was front steering instead of like split steering. Easier to navigate. I wonder if it'd be easier just to drive this over and put it. Hang on. You know what? I'm thinking just because we're so close to. No, we're not. No, we'll just take it all over at once. I was thinking the factory was right next to us, but it's not. It's over a little bit, so we'll. We'll just do this the old-fashioned way. We'll truck it in. I only have to do it 12 times, right? That'll just take about 45 minutes. I'm going to crush my beetle. So wiggly. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to get this loaded. I'll be back when I'm done doing that. All right. So we are finishing up here. Uh, thinking I'm going to put... we got a lot of extra malts in. So I think the malts with the malts will be fine. Or malt, beer, or whatever. Malts. Uh, there's plenty. So I don't think we need any more uh, for our uh, fact. I don't think we're going to need to make any more for our factory this year. So I'm going to go ahead and deliver this, and then we're going to bring some wheat over, and then we're going to sell the pig food. So we got a, an agenda for the day. Uh, let's see here. Lights off. Jump off. And we're going to hop into here. Oh, need to fasten the belt. That last one's going to fall off there. There we go. So we're loaded up. This looks safe, doesn't it? I don't know. I feel safe. Since we're not going on the road, I'm not too worried about it. It is it is stacked a little high. I don't know. <laughs> it's totally safe. Okay, stop. Oh, God. Special delivery. Let's see if it'll unload automatically. If I gotta probably hand unload it. Will you take? Nope. Shoes and socks. I think. Okay, so can we unload this truck? I don't remember. Unload this. But yeah, it'll just take a second. Nope. Alright. This won't take too long. 
famous last words. So thankfully we have Klaus Torions everywhere, just stacked all over the map. Uh, back to work. Come on, get it in there. 5,000 malts. 5,000 packets of malts on the wall. Starting to disappear. There we go. Put her down. There we go. And we'll let that unload. And unstacking and unpacking. There we go. Two at a time, not a problem. Oh, Lordy. Right on the edge. Living on the edge. Well, that was eventful. That almost turned into a disaster, but we're good. We're good. Try to do them, try to do them by twos, though. That actually was pretty impressive. Fling. Nope. Just trying to fling it off. So we can go flying in there. So in real life, could you do this? You probably. I think it would sag if you did this. Like here, they stick to the pallet, so you're fine. But in real life, I think if you tried to do it this way pallets would like fall to the side oh man get them off it <laughs> dude you're killing me I can't get them off the end of the forks they're stuck come on one's almost off Let go. Okay. We are going to make the beer. But this way I figure I can get both sides of production working. So when, even though we're not done, like, because it takes like a day or two to produce enough to make several pallets. So we'll make both kinds of pallets then and we won't have to just be stuck to doing like one, one load of beer at a time. The Maltz brothers. Henry and Heineken. Heineken and Duff. Wasn't Duff beer from Simpsons? Nope. Nope. Yep. Maybe. I'm doing a wedding tomorrow where the couple's already married, and so there is no wedding. They're just doing a reception. But it's still going to be like a 10-hour day. I'm like, oh. But because of COVID, they had booked earlier, and then, uh-oh. It's not taking from that back malts pack. Are we full? Let's see what happens here. It might be full of malts. Will it grab it from the other one? Weird. Or is this just in there? Why is this not taking No, that was weird. Huh. I must have set it too far in there. The load. Past the load zone. Past the suck zone. <laughs> Such a cringy. If you guys remember from the movie Twister when the dusty character, he's like, yeah, they call it the suck zone. And then he sucks his straw and it's like, it's just so cringy. So bad acting and bad direction poor guy the, poor, the guy that acted that you know I forget his name he's a pretty famous character actor and it's probably like do I really have to say this and do this like come on guys can't you put me in a better role because this is garbage alright so we got a bunch of 
a bunch of resin. We got a bunch of malts put in there. Like I said, should be plenty for the rest of the year. So we're going to put this truck away. I'm going to go back to the farm. Actually, I got to get my truck, though. The truck is over here with the water, I think. Oh, there it is. So we'll bring that over and get the wheat. I'm right back where I started. I missed the, <laughs> the exit. We'll just go out this way. Fine. I'll just go around. I'll tell you what, these trucks have such touchy steering, it's goofy. And then we'll we'll uh, sell off the, uh, I'm going to see if I can sell off that pig food at Ryson. What a cute little car. I do like this mod. It's a little low detail, but it looks good. I saw an old... Oh, God, I thought that was where... Never mind. I saw an old Porsche... Uh, basically, the squished Volkswagen version. It was like a 356C, I think they said. It was either B or C model. Uh, at a wedding that I did. It was really cool. It was in great shape. And it had a roof rack like this on it. I was like, man, that's, I like those vintage cars. like these old vintage like German cars with the roof rack. Extending your trunk space. So we're going to run over and grab that wheat trailer at the farm. There, I can see it from here. And I'm pretty sure it's, I think I left this loaded, but maybe it's not. We'll see. It might be empty. Yeah, it's empty. But we're going to put a load of wheat in. We'll let that fill up, and I want to check real quick and make sure that we have everything out of the auger. I'm uh, pretty sure the auger wagon's empty, but we'll check it. It's empty. Okay. The Unimog approves. My name's Arthur, and I approve this message. So we're going to have to cultivate next and then plant grass. Once again, my cedar does not cultivate, so... This truck does not like a full load. It's struggling. Dang mods. Like I am full speed right now. The wheels are slipping. We need a, a diff differential lock on this. Look at that. I'm literally full throttle. Come on, baby. Come on, truck. You let the good times roll. Uh. 
Oh well, at least it's a short trip. Oh, now we're picking up speed. Don't whiz on the electric. Okay, so uh, I will put these in here, and then we can start production on both. I think it already is producing, but... going to take forever. Oh, well. Uh, this We're making beer fuss. There we go. Wheat's up. Beer box active. Beer barrel active. And we have, let's see. Beer false. We have 11,000 liters right now of beer custom. And we'll just keep making it. So we're good. And then, like I said, we have more. We have even more wheat to put in there. But in the meantime, once this is done unloading. Well, that did unload faster than I thought it would. We're going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, That picky food and sell it and see what we get. Yeah, pig food. Oh, what was the picture? Uh, yeah, okay. That is what it is. So now let's take a look at the information screen. And we're going to scoot over to the pig food. There it is. And right now, Rife, Rifeson has it for... They're buying it at 621 liters. Uh, I don't know mathematically how that works out. 661,000 times 600. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. So where's Rifeson over there? Oh, it's close. I'm going to go to the right. This truck will never make it up that dike. The dike was too tall. So we've had a day of loading and unloading today. All in the name of. Going in the name of. Lighting up the family. There's Rifeson. Let's go ahead and sell our crap. We're just going to make lots more money. Let's sell this crap. Hopefully we can sell it. Yeah, we can. Look at that. Let's watch the money roll in. Oh, wow. Yep. Thousands. Thousand, 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 thousand. It's valuable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Money, 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 money. We're making a lot of money this year. 
$40,000 for pig food. Hi, Alfie. What's going on, little pup, pup, puppy, pup? Hi. Alfie wants to say hello. Hi, puppy. You want to say hi? You lick the microphone. There we go. That's a little ASMR for you there. Puppy ASMR. All right, so we have $444,459. Sounds almost like a religious number. Oh! <laughs> That's what I get for being sarcastic about all that stuff. All right, so we're going to go ahead and drop this off at the farm. Pick up the Volkswagen, bring it back home. And then uh, probably call it an episode. In the next episode, we will begin cultivating the fields, getting them ready for next or for the uh, grass planting for next spring. So we can mow, harvest the silage, and make some money off the fields even when they're not in use. Plus, we get a free layer of fertilizer. So that is why we do that. That's why we do what we do. Get on out here, disconnect these cables. All right. Drive the truck over. Attach it up to the Krona trailer. I totally missed. I'll be shoot. Uh, don't tell me. It's all right. I own the land. I own all this land. I actually own the grass out in front, so we could put another factory here eventually. All right. So there we go. We return the mighty Griffin. That is an abrupt engine stop. Yeah, let's take our little Volkswagen and go home. Cut that guy off. Sorry. What a cute little car. I love this car. All right. So we are back home. Like I said, in the next exciting episode, we will get out there and cultivate and plant grass so that we're turned and ready for next year. Ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Once again, if you have a trip to a Twitch Prime subscription, throw it our way because that helps us pay for the channel, pay for the cable bill, keeps us afloat, and it's free to you, but it gives us five bucks. So have a great night, and we will see you next time on Farm Simulator 22. Bye.